Now, as a measure to tackle infertility in the country, the late Ibiduni Godalo Foundation have given 40 couples the opportunity to become parents through uh, free medical fertilization procedures. Plus TV Africa's correspondent files in this report. About 40 couples who need reproductive intervention through in vitro fertilization IVF have now been granted an opportunity to become parents. The Ibiduni Igodalo Foundation launched the initiative to assist 40 couples have babies through IVF as an honor to the late Ibiduni Igodalo. It's mixed feeling, uh, a lot of joy and thankfulness for many things. First of all, for the couples that have gotten this privilege, uh, I'm praying to God that God will see them through the process and uh, the, our efforts will yield all the fruit. So I'm full of joy. Then there's a bit of anticipation because I know we still have a nine month journey and every day of that journey is very important. So I need to meet them in my prayer room on a regular basis for God to do what he needs to do. These 40 recipients were selected out of 1,500 couple entries who needed assistance giving birth. The beneficiaries expressed gratitude for this privilege accorded to them. If there's no there's no amount of words that can express how we feel, we feel and yeah. how we can. But all we just say is say thank you. Really thank you. We're grateful. We're very grateful for all that she has done and for thinking about people like us, for thinking about putting us in a program like this. We'll be very grateful to her. Definitely. We'll repeat this every year. We may not do 40 every year, but definitely we'll do as many couples as we can do every year. That's what we've always done. Uh, we've always done between 10 and 12 every year, uh, even when my wife, the founder, was alive. So I don't think we'll do less than that. Uh, and then we'll keep on going every year. Then she has other projects. Uh, we do Babies Day Out, where we go looking for indigent mothers and their babies, and we provide for them uh, one way or the other. We visit hospitals to bless the new babies that were born, especially at the new year. And I'm hoping that by God's grace, we'll be able to start a mother and child center in Ibiduni's name as we go down. Though Ibiduni is dead, her legacy lives on. As the foundation says, it will continue to carry out the late founder's wish to fulfill her passion for humanity. Reporting for PLUS TV Africa, Iseme Omohai. Thank you, Iseme Omohai, for that report.